emblazoned with AZ symbol, a Russian tank has been recorded firing on residential apartment buildings in Mariupol, as new satellite imagery shows the devastation inflicted on the besieged port city. Key points, Mariupol has endured some of Ukraine's worst punishments since Russia invaded. Mariupol has endured some of Ukraine's worst punishment since Russia invaded more than 1,500 people have in Mariupol during the siege, according to the mayor's office. More than 1,500 people have in Mariupol during the siege. According to the mayor's office Ukraine's president again deplored NATO's refusal to declare a no-fly zone over Ukraine and said Ukraine has sought ways to procure air defense assets. A video recorded by an Associated Press journalist showed the tank firing on a nine-story building, setting balconies on fire. It was not possible to tell whether the Russian positions had first received fire from the targeted locations. Mariupol has endured some of Ukraine's worst punishments since Russia invaded. Unceasing barrages have thwarted repeated attempts to bring food, water and medicine into the city of 430,000 and to evacuate its trapped civilians. More than 1,500 people have in Mariupol during the siege, according to the mayor's office, and the shelling has even interrupted efforts to bury the in mass graves. Conditions in the hospital there were deteriorating, electricity was reserved for operating tables, and people with nowhere else to go lined the hallways. Among them was Anastasia Ereshova, who wept and trembled as she held a sleeping child. Shelling had just her other child as well as her brother's child, Ms. Ereshova said, her scalp crusted with blood. We came to my brother's place, all of us together. The women and children went underground, and then some mortar struck that building, she said. We were trapped underground, and two children. No one was able to save them. A staff member with Doctors Without Borders said conditions in the city were increasingly desperate. There is no drinking water and any medication for more than one week, maybe even 10 days without drinking water and medication, they said. The folks have to search for different sources of water from the ground, and they say that they were drinking after boiling because there are no other source of water. We saw people who because of lack of medication, and there are a lot of such people inside Mariupol, and many people who were an injured and they are just lying on the ground and neighbors just digging the hole in the ground and putting their bodies inside. A new satellite image shows fires in the Primorsky district of Mariupol. Before and after photos show devastation. Meanwhile, new satellite images have revealed the scale of the devastation in the port city. Images captured before Russia's invasion show cars on the roads, green parks and apartment buildings. Images taken yesterday show ruined buildings, fires and smoke. A satellite image of Mariupol Hospital before the invasion. The hospital area now. In a video message broadcast to European cities on Saturday, President Volodymyr Zelensky said the families of the 79 children in the war had been destroyed and pleaded for help from Europe so that the number did not grow. They are at Mariupol 24 hours a day, launching missiles, he said, recalling the destruction this week of a maternity hospital in the city. It is hatred. They children. They destroy maternity hospitals. They destroy hospitals, why? So Ukraine has no more children. This is happening in all of our country. They have destroyed dozens of hospitals, hundreds of schools and daycares, they are destroying universities, they are destroying residential quarters. A satellite image of Mariupol apartment buildings before the invasion, March 12, 2022. The recent satellite image shows the same buildings now and ruined. Mr. Zelensky again deplored NATO's refusal to declare a no-fly zone over Ukraine and said Ukraine has sought ways to procure air defense assets, though he did not elaborate. U.S. President Joe Biden announced another $200 million U.S. dollars in aid to Ukraine, with an additional $13 billion U.S. dollars included in a bill that has passed the House and should pass the Senate within days. NATO has said that imposing a no-fly zone could lead to a wider war with Russia. Mariupol apartment buildings pictured before the invasion. The apartment buildings now. 
ABC AP.